The pen tool is located right here. You can get here by hitting P. Uh, the pen tool is a tricky beast of an animal. Uh, at its very basic, you click and drag, and in between that, you get whatever shape you want. I'm not exactly sure what shape I want right now. Uh, so we're just gonna go with this. Uh, all of the modifier, all the modifier keys allow you to change it a bit. So Alt, for instance allows you to change the curvature between these two points. Control, or I suppose command on a Mac, allows you to change the location of the point. Uh, shift allows you to start a new shape, so we're going to ignore that for now. If you hold down Alt and then go to this, uh, this right here, you can affect not only both of them at the same time, but both of them individually. If you hold down Control, you can affect these both at the same time. Play around with this. If you want a great exercise for how to use the pen tool, Google pen tool exercise, uh, and it will get you to a, uh, a page uh, from uh, Vector Tuts Plus. It's fantastic. Pen tool exercise. And it gives you an exercise. It says use it in Illustrator. You can also use it inside of Photoshop. Photoshop CS6 uh, redid a lot of what happens with the pen and it's so much better now. Uh, if you uh, hover over it, notice the cursor. If you hover over the line, it allows you to add more points, and if you hover over points, it allows you to subtract them. So you'll notice down here, there's tools specifically for them, add anchor point, delete anchor point. You can actually do that all directly within the tool, so we're not gonna worry about uh, either of these right here. Freeform pen tool allows you to uh, just kind of click and drag and create a shape. Uh, not as much control. Generally, if you're using the pen tool, you want to have more control, so we're going to stick with the pen tool. Convert point tool is exactly the same as if you are holding down alt. So we are again going to focus on the pen tool. So what can you do with this shape right here? There's a few things. You can change it into a shape. And that just makes a shape out of your shape. Uh, also, you can change it into a mask. So let's say we have something like this, and we spend a bit of time creating a shape around this. For a lot of people, the pen tool is their favorite thing to use selection. They don't use quick mask. They don't use. They definitely don't use lasso. Uh, they use pen tool. And I have to say, notice how I'm holding down spacebar in order to move the canvas in the middle of you, of using the pen tool. Uh, and I have to say, look at that wonderful double chin. Um, I have to say, in Photoshop CS6, the pen tool has finally entered its own space inside of Photoshop. So, if I were to go into this, and let's delete any masks that are currently there, delete, um, and I were to say mask, it would create a mask in the shape of whatever we just did. And now what we have is we have a vector mask that we can change to our heart's content. So you can see that I'm changing this around, and uh, yeah, let's turn it on, turn it off. There we go, turn it on, turn it off. Let's go right here and affect the mask, and we're able to change this mask right here. Uh, another thing that we can do with this is rather than something as complicated as adding a mask, we can also just turn it directly into, oops, let's uh, make sure that it's closed. There we go. We can turn it directly into a selection. So there we go. We went from having a uh, working path, and go to the path tool in order to see your working path, into a selection. So there's all sorts of things that you can do with this. I am clearly just scratching the surface, but I'm trying to make it so all of these aren't 15 minutes long. Uh, that's a good introduction to some of the things you can do with the pen tool. One more thing. One more thing. Inside of window paths, you get all of the options for paths. So there's some in the option bar, but there's also things down here. And you can do things such as, like in the layers panel, create a new path just by dragging it to the new path button down here. Otherwise, if it's just called a work path, there's a chance you might lose it if you accidentally overwrite it with something else. So make sure that it's uh, labeled correctly, face path, and use them as you will. This is really just scratching the surface. Paths are fantastic. Uh, but in a nutshell, Pen Tool allows you to do shapes. If you click and drag, you can do more. And if you hold down uh, Alt, all sorts of options. And if you right click, it's essentially the same options that are inside of the option bar. For the full four hour Photoshop crash course, click on the link below. And to get more of the tools, just click on this link inside the video itself. Thanks for joining.